All right, welcome back everybody here to the Now Morning Show. We are keeping on trend with the topic of technology. Joining us this morning, it is Lawrence Mordes, who is the Managing Director of Digital Business. And we are also chatting with John Outridge, who is the Deputy Vice Chair of AmCham's TNT Digital Transformation Committee. Good morning, gentlemen, and welcome. The topic this morning is promoting the use of technology. And uh, there's a theme for 2021, which is now and beyond. Again, good morning and welcome. Morning, morning. So let me start with you, John. Uh, AmCham usually engages in a number of initiatives that partners with other entities to provide some benefit to Trinidad and Tobago. Tell us about this one. Yeah, so um, thanks again and morning. And as you mentioned, you know, AmCham is one of those agencies that do partner with a number of different sectors. And technology is one of those prime sectors that sort of undercut all of them. So we are, we, I'm, I'm representing the Digital Transformation Subcommittee on the AmCham. And this is the third year we are doing this conference. And the idea has always been to promote digital transformation. So the subcommittee, we primarily focus on, you know, how do we improve the lives of citizens, both public and private, through the use of technology. And this conference is a sort of way annually for us to culminate all of the efforts bring the right talent to the stage, engage with local stakeholders, and sort of share experiences and try to also develop the industry as a whole. And no small player in the digital landscape of Trinidad and today in the Caribbean really is Digicel. And that's why Lawrence is with us. Could you tell us about Digicel's involvement in this initiative and conference? Sure thing. Um, so, so for us, um, I think the one of the key things with Amcham to this conference is that we believe it, it underscores the necessity for digital transformation and it really helps organizations grasp the, the benefits of leveraging their ICT infrastructure, right? Um, we, we, we're convinced essentially that that conference will kind of help organizations see ICT not just as some large nebulous chunk of their budget, um, but, you know, that if you leverage it correctly, um, you can see uh, returns um, or achieve returns uh, to scale. Um, of course, along that digital journey, you need to have the right partner. We believe we, of course, are that right partner where we can absorb, you know, a lot of the costs that's involved in setting up some of these new ICT solutions um, and allow businesses to re really focus on two things, on growing their core business and on innovation. Um, we have a lot of strategic relationships, um, Jam being one of them, but then we'll also have relationships with the like of Simply Cloud um, that allows us to deploy what we call hyper-converged infrastructure for things like disaster recovery and so on, anywhere throughout the region rapidly. And then of course, our partnership with Microsoft, which allows us to help businesses report quite granularly on what their spend is um, as they subscribe to some of these ICT services. Now let's um, start picking it apart a little bit. What do you foresee as one of the major challenges with not only getting organizations and businesses involved, but on the, on the practical side of it, to really have that digital transformation. You want me to go first or is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. You first um, first. I think I think one of, one of the greatest challenges for us um, that we've seen actually is, you know, you know this adage, if it's, if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? Right. And I think regrettably, that's the, the sort of philosophy that a lot of um, Caribbean companies have stuck to. If you if you look at cybercrime, for example, um, there's about six trillion US in damages from cybercrime activities globally but you still see a lot of companies in the region treating cybersecurity like pretty much insurance. It's something that's low down the totem pole and it's only a necessity when it's too late, when things have really gone bad. Um, you also see ransomware attacks and so on, but people still sort of take a simplistic view of, of what their data is worth. Um, again, though, we, we see the benefit of this conference, I keep punning on this, um, where, you know, Amcham is able to educate businesses on different scenarios, um, but just as importantly, educate them on what these solutions are. And then you have a partner like Digicel that brings those solutions to the table and offers them via, uh, you know, very, very cost-effective uh, financial models. Definitely. And to you, John, uh, what do you see the conference and uh, this, using your pun there, Lawrence, um, how, how do you see it meeting the challenges that were described and how do you see, you know, businesses becoming stronger out of such a conference? Sure, yeah. And, and just, to, just to provide the, um, the clarification on this, so this actually stands for Tech Hub Island Summit. So this is by no means a, a Trinidad conference, but it's meant to be regional. And, and the team for this year really is now and beyond, right? And to, to your point, 
how we sort of ideated on that team is we realized that when we started to see the pandemic started to unfold, we realized that we saw a shift of focus in terms of innovation, both across public and private sectors, right? So there was an accelerated urgency to sort of adapt to the changing circumstances, right? So you basically you had hotel chains offering workspaces at the rates, right? Everybody decided to pivot. They had movie studios now releasing directly to streaming platforms. You had retailers converting to their physical locations to like dark stores and basically offering pickup and providing e-commerce services, right? Pharmacies doing WhatsApp deliveries and so forth. So we realized that there were a lot of pivots that were happening and you realize those pivots were only possible through the use of technology. And it was for the first time, I would say that you actually saw a very big, big drive to that sort of acceleration, right? And this is just not generally there, but we talk about even all the businesses, financial services, et cetera, you know? Um, so like one of our sponsors, for example, like Republic Bank, you know, in terms of adjusting how they operate and to allow persons to apply for loans and stuff like outside Garden Life, again, who also a sponsor where you can now pay for your premiums online. So I think the, you know, this is one of the main areas that we want to speak about on the pandemic, um, particularly not the impact, but in terms of, you know, how the industry as a whole has changed and to sort of hear some of those success stories and those pivots. Definitely. And as you mentioned, pivots there, I'll jump to you, Lawrence. Uh, we, you, you had briefly touched on the, on the topic of Digicel being able to support digital transformation, especially as pertains to public and government agencies. Now, some agencies were able to pivot because they had been prepared to do so, to have their operations done online and the, the public to access services online, but others who were either slow or unable to make that pivot. How is Digicel prepared to bridge that gap really and to ensure that you know um, there's the level of transparency needed as pertains to things that are being undertaken in conjunction with the government? Right. So it's 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 the, the infrastructure that we've deployed and the, the managed services we provide um, really focus on three things. Um, I'll touch on them really quickly. Uh, one is greater productivity, greater scale, and then focus investment. In terms of productivity, you guys know, let's say you have a multinational, even a government agency, they have ICT assets dispersed uh, across the region, maybe, and some of those assets fail. In the olden days, um, you're talking about, you know, trying to rush through orders, get exceptional approval, whatnot, hoping customs clears things on time and, 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 and so on. Now, though, by leveraging our managed services, even if something goes wrong, there's seamless failover within our uh, infrastructure. And, you know, you could have the system up and running before anyone even notices that it's, it's down, essentially, right? Um, when, when we speak of scale, let's think for the, the small and medium market, for example, they no longer have to settle for anything that is less than best of breed. Again, they're subscribing to our top tier solutions. And as they grow their business, their spend will just incrementally increase because they're only paying for, for what they use, right? Um, and then perhaps most importantly, when it comes to focus investment, what you don't want is organizations trying to stretch themselves even thinner in terms of where they put their financial resources. What we have deployed would allow them to focus both their capital and human resources on the things that are really critical to their success. And we at Digicel will take care of you know, the hassle and the burden in terms of deploying it, maintaining it, supporting it. And of course, giving them, as I alluded to before, that granular level of documentation so they know exactly what is happening, how it's happening, and where the dollars are being spent. And I, I, wish, we had, I wish we had more time for it, but quickly, um, how do individuals and organizations uh, take part in this conference before we go? Oh. So the, the conference runs from July 5th to July 9th, and persons who are interested could go to techislands.net, and you can register there, and you can get a day pass, you can get two days pass, you can get for the full pass, you know, and basically, um, you know, we have different teams throughout the day, so it's design thinking, future of work, digital return investment, fintech now and beyond, creating tomorrow today, and then digital transformation of governments. So it's a very action pack. Um, agenda. We have speakers from Facebook and Google, IBM, SAP. So it's a really nice curated event. Right. It's kind in the Caribbean. And, um, you know, we, we could go so much more into this conversation, but unfortunately, that's all we have time for this morning. So with that, I want to thank you gentlemen for joining us. Lawrence Modest, Managing Director, Digital Business. John Outridge, Deputy Vice Chair, AmCham TNT Digital Transformation Committee for joining us this morning and sharing this information. And again, we remind viewers that you can uh, go on to the 
website. Um, could you repeat the website for us? Sure, techislands.net. Techislands.net, where you can register, get more information, and uh, get your day pass, weekend pass, as the case may be. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Have a great morning and stay safe. Thank, thank you. you. All right, we are gonna take a short break. We have much more in the program coming up later on. So stay right here, this is in our morning show.